welcome Michel Perret, the chair of the Eurobet Standing Committee, and Peter Lina, the chair of the Eurobet Advisory Committee meeting. Welcome to COP10 of CMS in Bergen, Norway. Uh, what is your role here? Why have you come? Uh, the role of, of uh, the chair of the Standing Committee is to uh, support uh, this communication that has been taking place today uh, during the side event dedicated to BATS and to support uh, initiatives in favor of BATS, not only inside the uh, European uh, area of the agreement, but also to give the opportunity to other countries uh, to take advantage of the experiences of Eurobats to improve globally uh, the conservation of bats all over the world. That was the main uh, goal of our uh, intervention uh, today. I think Peter will share this uh, point of view as a scientist, oh, yes, sure. as an uh, advisory, uh, at the, as the chair of the advisory committee of our agreement. I came special for the uh, for uh, for this side event because I would like to give uh, a very brief overview uh, about the importance of other species outside Europe uh, for conservation and the role they are playing uh, for conservation and also for economy in some occasions. We are also celebrating. Uh, 20 years of the signing of the Eurobets agreement. Peter, you have been with Eurobets from day one, even participating in the development of the agreement. Uh, can you tell us about uh, something about the earlier years and how the agreement has, has developed, and Michelle in particular, how you experience the agreement 20 years later? Well, um, this week, exactly this week, uh, um, how many years? I think uh, 25 years ago, uh, we had a meeting in London in the Burlington House, uh, Piccadilly, uh, and where we started to discuss about the, uh, let's say, the, the preliminary draft of the of the agreement. And we spent uh, three days, three full days, to to discuss about uh, the the articles and uh, and, the, uh, and the amendments, uh, and then. Uh, after that, uh, it was, it was uh, a time of silence for some years, where they were picking up in Geneva, I think in 1991, uh, the, uh, the progress of, of, uh, of, of uh, the Eurobest agreement. So it's, uh, it's, uh, and it took quite a long time uh, uh, to make it effectively. So, uh, 20 years after the birth of uh, Eurobats, and for my, uh, for my part, uh, after uh, sharing the standing committee uh, for five years, now we can say clearly that Eurobats has in, inside the, uh, area, uh, the agreement area concrete uh, results for bat conservation uh, all over the uh, agreement area. It provides uh, important uh, information for each uh, parties belonging to Eurobats to implement uh, the uh, bat conservation in each uh, country. Uh, the documentations, the studies, uh, the technical recommendations that have been uh, provided inside Eurobats, the network of scientists daily contribute uh, to the uh, uh, improvement of bat conservation. What is done is really concrete and can be uh, directly uh, used by uh, organizations in charge uh, in each country. We can clearly say that uh, inside the uh, agreement area, uh, Eurobat has contributed and in a perfect spirit of uh, international cooperation, showing that this international cooperation is really needed and is a way to improve the conservation of uh, species, uh, migratory species conservation. So the result uh, that we have uh, now uh, is a good uh, signal, not only for bat conservation in Europe, all over the world, but also 
proves that uh, a me an international mechanism can help considerably uh, to the enhancement of uh, conservation of migratory species. So we can, after uh, 20 uh, years of existence of Yarobats, be proud of the result. And that's why uh, inside the CMS family, uh, with the spirit of international cooperation, we would like uh, these experiences uh, to be shared with all the countries inside the uh, CMS family.